I go by the name of the boy Illinois, or Illy, for short, that fares the squad. I hail from the south side of Chicago. As far as the music that I make, I guess you would say my genre is rap hip hop. I like to harmonize, I like to do whatever sounds good to me at the moment. And not only does it make you feel good, makes you dance, you can be entertained by it, but it also comes with a message. I got a lot of positive things to say, a lot of things to say about the community, the society that we live in. So I just use that stance to, to project my voice to get those points across. Inhale part three. After school program is basically about not having to do things the routine or standard way to reach your dream or reach your goal. You don't have to go to school if, you, if, you, if, if your path is upon another way, you know, it's in the other direction. You know, it's in the way anybody has to tell you about that. At the end of the day, you're the person that has to make the decision. The first joint to leave the tape off is entitled Speaking Through Experience. And it basically speaks upon my grandfather, who was Haitian, he came over here when he was 12 as a refugee. I never really got to know him. I was just speaking to him, and I knew that his experience speaks through my father, so I spoke, spoke about that. And uh, basically, like, setting the tone for the whole after school program concept in, in the name of the tape. Grandfather was four, father is half from only one fourth, but still part of the math. Are you part of the problem or the supporting cast? Or can you even grasp or try to understand or even imagine sitting in a phantom and all this is coming from your grandson? Granddad, if you can see me, they bout to put Lil Bill on CD. I don't know what was on his mind when he was coming from Haiti, headed to the land of the free. See, he was only 12, a refugee, and whatever wasn't him is instilled in me. West. Another joint that we did, join a frat. It's a real hard hit joint, real aggressive on it, you know what I'm saying? I get to raise my voice as a kid. When you hear it, it's gonna be some strange, deranged type stuff, you know? But you'll understand the message in it. It's basically me saying, don't join and follow behind anybody just because it looks cool and try to reap the benefits and such things that you gotta do your knowledge before you go into something full death. So, you know, like Lupe said, you gotta know it to be a hypocrite. So. I'm by the lake at the Drake, no wheelchair, Jimmy, this is how I roll, no wheelchair in me, I'm an asshole, it's a fast go, my cash flow, growing to the green like a tadpole, who acts though? Another one is entitled New P, we'll just leave that for the, the, the imagination at the moment, but uh, speaking on your ex or your current girl you was messing with, no one mess with you no more, so you on the E-way, highway, gone to your new, your new P. In terms, you know what I'm saying? You, you, y'all understand what I'm saying? Used to be a size three, six a size D. Now that's a chest, not checkers. Make that next. We go through it like this. What I'm bringing to the game, as far as my style, I mean, I'm smooth as hell. You know what I'm saying? But no, uh, <laughs> it's about having balance. I think I got a perfect balance. How your body used to kind of responds to the beat and the rhythm. So you gotta have, you gotta make sure you got that down. Then you want to place certain words and say certain things in that area of the beat that will also also catch the attention of the person. And, and once you have a perfect mix of, of riding the beat perfectly called and actually saying something with substance and being lyrical, it's a whole mix. And you having that perfect balance, you can catch a wider audience if you just pigeonhole yourself to one side. So I just think I did with that one lot. I don't constrain myself to say I'm this kind of artist or this type of artist. I just go out and do whatever I feel like doing and make music. So what up? So what up? I wanna fuck too many hoes And not to spend way too much money on these clothes I'm just trying to go to a place where no one knows Cause I ain't trying to wait until I'm old So I be living like I'm 20 I wanna fuck too many hoes And not Way too much money on these clothes I'm just trying to go to a place where no one knows Cause I ain't trying to wait until I'm old So I be living like I'm 20 Living like I'm 20 So basically 
of the age. You're experiencing a lot of different stuff. You know what's right, but you still choose to do wrong. So that's what the band is about. Let's turn the mic up a little bit. FA the squad, which is uh, FA stands for Family Affair. Uh, we used to be free agents, but that term became so cliche we had to change it up. It consists of me, myself, the boy Illinois, Young Rail, who also produces as well, and Trey Style, us three. And uh, we started a long time ago, maybe about seven, eight years ago. We you know, living around each other, going to the same school. And uh, we're just trying to take a break after some of the shooting. FA is definitely an extension of me, myself, as an artist and as a person. It's just more than one personality now. You got three different personalities, three mouths, and three to speak three different languages. Music. So you put those together, it's always going to be something positive. on the clouds, focus, but I'm chilling. Checking out the scenery. My one and ultimate goal when it comes to doing music would have to be to, to make history. Like, why wouldn't you? To be great, to, to be memorized and known years and years later, leave that imprint and show that you've done something of importance in what you chose to do with your life ultimately. So I think that's basically the ultimate goal.